Well, thank you, uh, Dr. Chang, and thank you, uh, Ellis. I really appreciate the uh, engagement we've had with ACER and students on this. They're obviously the leaders in the industry, and they're showing leadership here, which is really great. So going forward, um, where is Mobile going? Well, we have all these devices here. We've talked a lot about netbooks and nettops. Those are the devices that you've seen very uh, well displayed at this show. We're also, as, you, as we mentioned, we're working on the mobile internet devices. So Morristown, which is the next uh, uh, platform for these internet devices, is going to have uh, mobile version 2 as well. You notice that the um, screen is a lot smaller than a netbook. And so, and the usage of these devices is a bit different. And so the nice thing about mobile is all the infrastructure that's used to build the, the netbook, the net tops, it's all going to be used on these devices as well. The thing that we have to do is shape and change the usage experience for this specific device. We're not just going to try to shove the netbook device experience onto this because, as Ellis described, there's pinch, there's touch, there's other things that you want to do on these devices uh, that we need to incorporate. It's a smaller screen, so we have to change some of the concepts. So we're doing a ground-up design for this device as well. Uh, so you'll see a usage experience much like the netbook, but more designed for the type of thing you would do with a device like this. This will be on display, I think, in Anin Shana Shaker's keynote uh, tomorrow. In addition to that, we also talked about working in the uh, in vehicle entertainment. There's a lot of things. I was actually in a cab t uh, yesterday or last night, and he was watching television. I couldn't believe it. So he, it's really, you guys right know about that. They, the cab driver's watching television. Uh, and it's, so there's a so that is actually a very prominent usage model uh, in in the Asian countries. And so we're actually involved in in, in vehicle entertainment. Uh, I didn't have a car I could pull up here to show you that. But we also are uh, uh, working on uh, media phones as well, which is an example of a media phone uh, on the table. So a broad set of, of segments that mobile is going to address with unique usage experiences for each one of those. So going forward, we're going to continue to invest. Intel is one of the people investing in this. We're committed to this. We absolutely open source approach. We believe it brings innovation and collaboration with a large number of players. I often get asked, asked how many people are invested in mobile. And I say I can't tell you because there's so many people outside of Intel's doors in the community, in other companies that are investing in it. It's impossible to track, but it's thousands of people uh, because of the nature of open source. And that's what we get from that, the innovation and a large number of people participating. And so as I talked about earlier, we moved Moblin to the uh, governance uh, and stewardship of the Linux Foundation. That doesn't include bug fixes. That doesn't include optimization. That doesn't include creativity value. That's an amazing number of what you're thinking about. And Linux is growing not only in this segment of the market, but it runs 90% of the top 500 fastest supercomputers in the world. It's the fastest growing server side of the market. And the innovation that's going on here is going to benefit the people in that market as well. The power management features you see in Moblin help reduce the footprint of the data center from an energy perspective. And vice versa, innovation that's going on in these other segments of the market, like performance computing and super side, are going to come back and benefit the mobile environment. There's really no single platform in the history of computing that can represent that kind of innovation. And at the Linux Foundation, we're lucky because we kind of sit in the middle of all of this going around. With Linus Torvalds as key employee, obviously at the heart of Linux and all the major project leaders participating in our meetings and events in multiple projects that cut across every aspect of Linux. And one of our newest projects, Moblin, is one of the projects that people are most excited about. And they're excited for a couple of reasons. First, they're excited because Intel is backing this in a huge way. Since we started working with Intel on this project, since they handed the project over to the Linux Foundation, We've been seeing nothing but a redoubling of commitment and effort from Intel to make sure that Moblin is successful as a project. And the wisdom from Intel to know that they're going to communicate, uh, participate with a much broader community by having the project at a place like Moblin. So let me talk a little bit in conclusion about why Moblin is so important to developers and why they're so excited about it. Well, the first reason is 
Because Moblin is based on all of the key projects in Linux that really matter. You know, the whole GTK thing, the Linux kernel, I can go on and on and on. These are the thousands of developers who really make Linux work. And all of them, seeing Moblin, are getting incredibly excited because they can touch it. It's not an abstract server. It's not a concept in the cloud. They can see it. They can touch it. It can be productized. And that is incredibly important in igniting that developer momentum. And that's already happening because the people who worked on these projects for years and years and years that really Moblin is based on are now really with V2 starting to see its real potential. And that leads me to the final point, which is all of you in this room, or many of you in this room, are going to be involved in productizing Moblin and bringing it to the market. And what I want to commit to you from the Linux Foundation, and what I predict you will see, is that when people start getting open based products in their hands, when developers get a hold of these, start hacking on it, playing with it, they are going to help you create incredibly innovative, innovative products. Things that you could never have thought of on your own are going to come to you, allow you to bring those into the marketplace, differentiate your products better and faster than you can even imagine. So I'm really looking forward to the next year of working with the developers on this project, working with Intel, and working with all of you in anticipation of what the next big, big thing is going to be based on. Thank you very much.